All right, we're live. Hey, everybody. It's a Vorpal Tales night. And why wouldn't it be? Sunday evening, and we are without a Tyler, so we're going to get into a whole bunch of trouble tonight. Anyway. Why the are there already three summon the Elder Guards? Oh, because it's Ben. We're fine. <laughs> you really scared me. You're spending Tyler's points. Ooh. Oh, yes. How is the audio, everyone? I mean, I can hear you just fine. Well, I'm eh. You're here. <laughs> we're here. We're here, and we're family. So, welcome, everyone, to Vorpal Tales, where we play a myriad terrifying tales and awesome adventures tonight is yes um <laughs> we are going to be a silly funny mess of wonderfulness tonight on purpose maybe on accident also like to thank all the awesome partners that we have odd duck dice which isn't an official partner but might as well be right <laughs> Q U Empire, we've got our Dungeon Crate, we've got Norse Foundry, which they make those heavy metal dice. I'm pretty sure Rosie will and eventually learn how to do dice that. bone dice if you want a haunted dice bag. Oh, they can keep that kind of artistry. I'm going <laughs> to keep that Are the ghosts guaranteed? Uh, I think you would have to email customer service for that. Mm. I, I want a haunted dice. Anyway, tonight we're going to be playing Changeling the Lost, but not my normal dark, creepy... Well, you know, I probably can't help but slip that in there. But not a super emotional session this evening. I'd like to introduce you to our players this evening, and they will be playing some pregens, mostly. So carry on my wayward folks. Hello, because of some alphabetical bullshit, I'm going first. I'm Ben, better known as Big Dad of Big Dad Industries. Tonight, I'm playing Red, who likes to skateboard. Also, Ambrose told me I'm not allowed to cry. So we're going to have a good time. I did no such thing. Hello, my name is Rachel. I am stolen fire pretty much everywhere on the internet. Uh, tonight I am playing Ash, the wizened. Uh, Wise Cracking Vizier is the concept. Uh, looks like she's Winter Court. So that'll be fun. I'm gonna do my best to make Ben cry. Not red, Ben. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, I don't think you'll succeed. Um, it's good to have goals. Yeah, okay. Um, hi, I am Rosie, regular size mom, and I am married to Ben, which is why I have a bit of an opinion about what will and will not make him cry. Um, and tonight I will be playing Alice Drummond, the elemental chaplain that I also play in the Patreon changeling game that Ambrose has, is running. So if you like me here as Alice, Join Patreon. Check it out. It's some sort of cross-promotional event. I decided to do that. <laughs> I just was like, this, will be, this is easy. Let's do it. I have this character. Hello, everybody. My name is Steve. You can find me on the internet at Voodoo Arcade. My pronouns are he, him, and tonight I am playing Leander, uh, who is a beast from the no court. He is and indeed courtless. Yeah, I I have I have not courted. Um and um <laughs> what the fuck are you doing to that kiwi? <laughs> Getting it? <laughs> It's it's been it's been like it's the first time I've ever seen someone eat a kiwi like any other piece of fruit. I've only ever seen them cut up. So this is a big day for Wait, me. I appreciate do you, it. Do you eat the kiwi peel? Yeah, like an apple. 
He will also <laughs> eat an onion that way. And I've seen him man. put raw garlic in his mouth and chew and swallow. Damn madman. <laughs> God told me I could do this. I said no such thing. You're not God. Says who? Me. My dog's okay. an ordained minister. Well, I didn't ordain you dog. There's a backstory there, but let's get to change. <laughs> Fun fact, in a game that has not come out yet, uh, to prove a point to the GM, I got JoJo ordained in the middle of the game. What? I mean, I kind of approve. <laughs> <laughs> this the the GM did not believe that you could get ordained like very quickly online because we were like our our my fourteen year old is going to go get ordained. We, we're trying to fight a vamp. Look, listen, it'll it'll come out. Watch we'll it. tell you it's which awesome. one it is. We break this woman so many times. She breaks us a little bit too. And we le all learned a lesson. Happy World Goth Day, everybody. Happy World Goth Day. Thank you. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, you can find me all over the internet as Sam Changeling. And you can find me on Etsy at Thornkind. And you can find me right now directing this madness. <sighs> I'm Ambrose. My pronouns are he, him, or they, them. So. Let's see. Where to begin? Let's start with, if you were stuck in a burning elevator, what would you do? Uh, well, I'm Probably Winter Court. Probably die. Court. I think we'd all just die. Well, no, because I'm Winter Court. I'm oh, Winter our Court. Characters. Uh, so I would, uh, call on the power of winter to extinguish the fire, and fixing the elevator is gonna be other people's problem. I would do a cool skateboard trick. <laughs> what? Listen, Am I alone in the elevator? Listen, I've got four dots in, in athletics with a specialty in skateboarding. I got one move set here. <laughs> yes, you are alone in the elevator. Well, then I utilize Brownie's boon to do some simple tasks very quickly that involve me somehow getting out of the elevator. Because that only works when I'm alone. And I get to do things irrelevant of time. That's That's quite brilliant. Uh, does does riding the falling leaves help? I have that. Uh, it probably could if the doors were open. Like if you were, if the elevator stopped and you got this little opening, riding the falling leaves, you become the leaves and you fly out the hole. Oh wait, no, I would just unravel the tapestry and and exit before the elevator caught fire. That's what I would do. Leander. I would intimidate the fire by staring it down until it retreated to a safe place, knowing that I would beat it up if it kept if it kept spreading. You might die. Um, just gonna put that out there. No, I won't. Okay then. <sighs> That fire is going to learn its place. That's right. <laughs> so, Alice is originally from our Patreon game for Changeling the Lost. It's typically very serious. They're solving some murders. How do you think you would meet this motley crew? Well, Alice is a social worker. She spends most of her time in the town of Friendship but occasionally she does have to, that's what it's called, I saw your face, then deal with it. Do, I There's just reasons. checked to see if my mic was on. <laughs> um, the Town of Friendship, if you want to find out why it's called that, watch the Patreon. And uh, you, occasionally she needs to leave 
friendship to uh, file paperwork and do other things. So maybe she met these uh, individuals on the road or in a town, wherever this game starts. Uh, maybe at a bus stop. Who knows? Because she's from the 1950s originally, so I don't know if she learned to drive. She could get a hold of an older model. That's car. true. She could drive stick. Yeah, that's one good thing about being back then, huh? Uh, well, let's see. So Leander and Ash and Red are normally... Yes. Where does this game take place? Hmm. Also, is it modern day? Modern day, yes. Uh, takes place... Should I make you suffer with Florida? I mean, we're gonna make you suffer by derailing whatever the plot is. So, what if it was you know, fair is fair. I don't think Ambrose is ready for- I don't think anyone is ready for that except you. You think I'm ready for that? Theoretically, I could do it. But only if we're set in very specific years. Wow. Uh, Why Luke do you think I'm should... ready for that? <laughs> you asked! I ask a lot of things that I want to know. Alright, hear me out. The golden age of piracy. I have been I obsessed have exactly with the setting our with okay, okay. Death. I know how I met so, them then. Because that for foot it. trod that leads from friendship into that cowboy era. What? I thought that was like, one way. That's only one way. Well, something got fucked up. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I know, I know of a freehold in the Golden Age of Sail uh, for changelings run by the dread pirate Fergus. That's from your mummy game. That's right. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, fact, so... He murdered his fetch, uh, the commodore of uh, the British fleets, uh, and became a pirate. I've got it. I've got it. So... I mean, so my character's the notary, so I figure I'm just, like, the Lucius. <laughs> I've invented skateboarding. That's my new thing. <laughs> Oh my so, god. Uh, Ambrose, I would like to propose that Alice was chasing one of the talking llamas, and the llama tried to get it in the head and <laughs> grabbed the talking llama and got dragged somehow on the trod and the hedge and ended up here. Or you could set it in the parking lot of a Publix in Florida. Oh, it's getting oh in a Denny's and we're in a fist fight. <laughs> I just came up with this whole thing, guys! Okay, I've got it. I've got it. Perfect. <laughs> Amazing. So, Can yes, I do this windows is... from the thing. No. <laughs> Anyhow, so um, this is how this is gonna go. Alice. One of those talking llamas got out again. You're in the town of friendship. The vending machine hasn't been helping. You've tried to get llama treats out of it for the 21st time. So and just instead to it keeps- clarify, because there's a vending machine, this is modern day? For the moment, yes. Also, okay. are we sure it's a talking llama and not just a regular alpaca, because they can do that? We specified talking llama in our town creation. Mm -hmm. If you would like to watch our entire town creation, join the Patreon. Um, so house rule, every time someone summons an elder gods, gonna throw a totally random wrench into the story. Not necessarily an enemy. Jesus Christ. Not you, Ben. <laughs> anyway. So. The vending machine has only given you shrimp cocktails 
You swear that you press the proper combination for llama treats. Yeah. But shrimp cocktails. Shrimp cocktails. One of them smelled a little weird. Just toss them aside. The llamas have no interest. And then the vending machine travels again. You have to find it. This time you successfully get llama treats. 20 second try. And yes, if you're wondering about the traveling vending machine that serves shrimp cocktails, you'll have to sign up for our Patreon game. <laughs> There's so much lore behind that vending machine. <laughs> Red, Ash, and Leander, you're traveling together. You heard about this haven town for changelings called Friendship. You also heard that Amelia Earhart lives there. Long story. So, you decided to check out this town. You know, some of your motley couldn't make it. They weren't interested or they had some other things to do. And you're walking through this town. It's kind of circle shaped. You notice there's a pattern as you walk towards the center of the town. The more important buildings and features are in the center. You are greeted by a changeling that looks kind of like a deer, or like she was a deer. Big brown doe eyes, freckles splashed across her face, dark brown hair. Welcome to our town of friendship. How are you? Can I give you a hug? No. Okay, we believe in consent for hugs. Yar. And Arg and Ahoy. I heard Amelia Earhart lives here. Oh, yes. She lives in a tree house right outside the town. Do she want be wanting to buy me weed? You know, I never asked her if she was interested in things like that. Hmm. I love to learn new things about my friends. Did you know your friends town. told us you could give us $30? Uh, no, I don't believe that they did. However, I would like to interest you in... We have a group therapy once a month for changelings who've come from Arcadia. I don't need therapy. I'm Why fine. are we here? Whose idea was this? Yar. It's a town called Friendship. Amelia Earhart lives here. That's interesting. We should do interesting things. Go, we have be interesting. so many Go, interesting, interesting things to do. We have a community center up through the twisted path on the mountain. We have a circle of dead things that we can't figure out why nothing grows. Um, just stay away from the crime scene, please, because uh, they're investigating right now. It was pretty messy. Look to red and look to ash. Dead thing or crime? All right, let's poke it with a stick. Dead thing. Alice. No, so we go look for Amelia Earhart. Alice, at right, this she's time. She's dead, right? Oh, she's actually a changeling in this universe. <laughs> so, um, Alice, you run by with your bag box of, of llama treats. I picture kind of like a Scooby snack. You hear a bleating from far away. And you see these changelings speaking with Magdalena. I, I'm after that llama. Oh, oh, Alice, are you headed towards Amelia? Uh, if the llama is, I don't want it to start talking to tourists again. It's very rude. Oh, that's a fair point. Um, I think I saw... Oh, what was that one's name again? Alice, do you remember? 
Uh, mm, I think it was Herbert. Herbert. Oh, he's always getting out. Um, yes, I think I saw Herbert running that way. Okay. Uh, and does Amelia need anything? Apparently, this um, new friend here would like to ask if Amelia would like to buy any greenery. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think she likes to garden. Uh, I, I can... Oh, oh, Alice, not that kind of greenery. Oh. Hold on, dear person. Be she a cop? No. I was talking no. to the dear person. Alice is one of our residents here in Friendship. She's not normally a llama wrangler. What be she normally? I'm a social worker. Normally the cowboys handle the llamas, but they're busy. Um, Leander, so... oh, what's a social worker? <laughs> is, that, is that a cop? Just for uh... clarification, is this red playing a pirate or did you turn red into a pirate? I think I'm really invested in the pirate angle now. <laughs> I mean, red's a really good name for a pirate. It is. Right? And I don't have a red hoodie to wear right now. Yeah, I do, but I'm not going to go get it. Perfect. So I think red is I a also pirate do not own a skateboard, <laughs> but I do have a skateboard it, it, as a character. <laughs> and I hate scurvy. Eat that citrus. Okay. You can turn the skateboard into a little dinghy. That's I, just, you can have it. I, I kind of feel like if I get them to meet Amelia Earhart, that'll be the session and that'll be fine. Carry <laughs> <clears throat> on. Um, I don't know what the hell a social worker is, but um, you're the is one that like an influencer? Uh, no, kind of the opposite. I, I you help no people. influence on things? I, I help people who... Um, why don't I just show... Why it... Well, consider us your fans. Do you have any other fans? Uh, no. Then we're your only fans. She looks fairly confused, pulls out her phone and Googles something. <laughs> and oh, Alice, no, no, no. And Magdalena puts her hand on the phone and just kind of pushes it down gently. You don't, you don't want to go there. Okay. Uh, what? Okay, so if Herbert went that way, I should be able to get them to Amelia while I go find Herbert. Uh, well, actually, I have to go. Um, I have another support group meeting. We just had, um, you know, the... so I don't really like to talk about it very much, but <sighs> some people got sucked through the cowboy portal again. Oh, no. Um, and the ended cowboy up. Cowboy portal? Yeah. Oh, yes. We, so um, back in the golden age of cowboys, whatever that's called. I'm not a historian. I'm a therapist. It's normally one way where the cowboys come through and then they're stuck here. So well, we have to the help cowboys them adjust. come through the mystery hole. Got it. Yes. Magdalena visibly scoots away from you Glorious. just a little bit. God damn it. They adjust fairly well because they normally can't go back. Precisely. So, so we have a llama ranch on the outside of town that they uh, reenact in. Are we in Nevada? Is that where this is? No, not at all. Okay. Um, <laughs> I believe it was um, the Pacific California, Northwest. Somewhere. Yeah, Pacific Northwest, I think it was. Um, anyhow, Magdalena looks at you and she goes, so normally it's one way and they come through here. Uh, but lately it's been sucking people in. I'm not really sure. Maybe it has indigestion. I, oh. I don't really know. It's a vortex. I, I can't really say how it feels or thinks. 
So, should we toss some tums then? That might work, actually. Oh no, Herbert was headed in that direction. <gasps> we can't have a talking llama end up and in... oh, that would be bad. That would be very bad. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I have to go run that support group down. Bye. I'm gonna go catch that llama. Llama, llama, duck. <laughs> Here, a llama, there, a llama. Everywhere, a llama. Kiss a llama on the llama. I know the entire song, and it's now playing in my head, and we'll play on the, the rest of the game. Excellent. I don't know. I love how, like, Gen Z is just, what are they doing? <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't know about two of y'all, but, uh, I kind of want to go see a llama get sucked through a vortex. So, uh, yes, I want to see this hole. Red, you're you're weird. You're a weird person. Yeah. But at least he's a person. <laughs> I'm a woman. At least she's a person. So. Unlike this llama we're about to go look at. So, all right. <clears throat> Are you guys going to follow Alice, Alice with her Alice. treats? Alice, take us to the llama. Oh, oh okay. Come on. Oh, and she'll the llamas have equal rights under the law since you're working with them as a social worker? Uh, we treat them very well. Uh, they, uh, they have very strong opinions about a lot of things. That's not a yes. We need them to not draw undue attention. Are they allowed to vote? Yes. So are the cats. We have a treaty with the cats. Uh, we could up, just come... leave, is what I'm saying here. What? What? Oh, I was like, that was an aside. Like we were on a stage production. Stage whispers don't work. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you Alice... might need to talk to Magda later about your your delusion that you're uh, in a play of some sort. Uh, soliloquies don't work in real life. But if you want to see the llamas, you, you come come on. I need to catch Herbert. So you're following the sounds and of, of a llama, whatever they sound like. It is 100% like. cursing off the tourists. Oh, that's right. You hear in the distance, fuck, fuck, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. It is indeed Herbert um, cursing off the tourists. Some of them are human. So that's going to have to be explained away later. Um, is that one time of year where humans are allowed to find the town of friendship? Yeah, as Alice runs past them, she's just like, we just put peanut butter in its mouth and there's someone you can't see. And they're, it's like a ventriloquism thing. Okay, bye. I, Alice, I'm going to need you to roll. Persuasion. Oh God! Uh, yeah, what, persuasion, what uh, manipulation, please. Is what could I consider this nudging? Like I'm trying to sort of nudge them into the. You know? Yes. Yes. Okay. Two successes. Alright, let me make that contested though. <laughs> oh yeah, you're good. They only got one success. They believe you. And you just start hearing applause as they're like, oh, that's so good. Wow. I had no idea that you could make a llama do that. And um, they carry on. And Herbert seems very disappointed. Then you see him running towards the vortex. No, Herbert, no, no, no. I have your llama 
treats? Herbert! Fuck the treats! And the vortex starts making the sound of a toilet flushing, which is what it sounds like when it's not doing what it should be doing. Yeah. And you see Herbert spaghettify and then whoo, sucked through the vortex. Oh, God. You see him safely on the other side going. That vortex really whipped the llama's ass. <laughs> Yar. I have a number of OSHA related questions to your vortex. <laughs> Why don't you have a basic fence around it? I mean, you'd think that would be job one, especially if you have cowboys around here. <laughs> I'll bring that up for the next town meeting, but right now... How long has this town been around? And how many llama portal-related accidents have there been? <laughs> it normally only goes one way. I, to my knowledge, the llamas have been... Stop asking questions! Did anyone translate that for me? I have no idea. Actually, I have a follow-up question. I kind of glance around. Is there any signage about this um, vortex? Yes. It says uh, cowboy vortex one way only. <laughs> I think you're going to have to update that sign. So is this the receiving end of the cowboy hole? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's... Are we the soiled doves? I mean... Doesn't doesn't the receiving end just depend on which end of the tube you're on? Well, they say it's one way. Right, but are you talking about being received into the tube or being received by the people at the end of the tube? What do I see Herbert doing? <laughs> Herbert is flouncing off as llamas do and I... cursing at cowboys as he passes by. Oh, God. Dude, and she turns and looks at these individuals and says, so do, what do you think the chances are that they think he's a cryptid and everything's fine or do I have to go get him? I have to go what, get him, don't what, I? What are the odds that a bunch of cowboys think a llama is a cryptid? <laughs> I have to go get him. <laughs> what are the odds that the cowboys will be sober? I was going to say, what time of day is it? Because, um... That's going to determine what the They'll probably just think. shoot it. <laughs> it is, uh, it is mean? high noon. Yeah, oh, yeah that was fucked. I don't know uh, if we have a mask the... or anything, but that llama's dead. What, um, what's Herbert? I don't know. Is Herbert good at a quick draw? Like, Herbert knows probably way his around skill a revolver. firearms <laughs> and dueling. <laughs> Can he kill a man at ten paces with a brace of pistols? Oh, he doesn't have thumbs! That's actually probably going to be a problem for him. Well, he mounted onto his back. <laughs> oh my god, a llama gatling gun. That has so many applications. It has <laughs> at least one, yes. <laughs> no. At this point, Rosie's assuming the storyteller wants us to go through the portal after her. Imagine we put a swivel gun on there. And you as no, we're going to go see Amelia Earhart. I don't know what the fuck y'all are talking about. Yeah, we're here about. for Amelia Earhart. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your story. You hook. see Herbert stop <laughs> and grab a cowboy's hat and start shooting on it. Cowboy draws his revolver. <clears throat> uh, I, I run in after Herbert. <laughs> Oh shit, she went in. That's a crazy story we'll have to tell the others. <laughs> oh no, the vortex okay. suddenly got stronger and sucked we, the rest of you in as well. We, we, we're <laughs> going, we're going. Oh, we're getting railroaded done. Right. <laughs> You're getting railroaded by a portal to cowboy tags. You'll be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna deploy my anti-cowboy measures. 
as you look back through the vortex, <laughs> you see a llama with red flowing curly hair and a goth choker lipstick and very long eyelashes. Svet Llama winks. And you are in the cowboy times. Hold on there, good sir. That, that's my llama. So, to explain where this vortex is, it is between two very close saloons. As you get sucked through, you're kind of like squished and can shuffle through as best as possible. Okay. And when you oh. emerge, you see the Wild West. Do we have a cell phone reception? No. But how am I supposed to update me Instagram? <laughs> Very carefully. Ash, what do you think of all of this? However, you can take photos. I'm not sure what to think, but there is a saloon over there, and I'm gonna go get a drink. You are all welcome to join me. You're all adults that know not to, like, ruin timelines and stuff, right? How would we do that? <laughs> Whoa. Was... Okay. Here's the question. Have we actually gone back in time? Or is this the cowboy-themed part of the hedge? Or fuck, Arcadia. What if we're back in Arcadia? Oh, which oh cowboy God. part of the hedge? There's, I heard there's like eight. I'm gonna Excuse go me, you. Here. Who's president? The cowboy that you're yelling at. Just oh, it was a railroad worker in my mind, but yes. Oh, okay. The railroad worker that uh, you were just yelling at looks at you, raises an eyebrow, and just walks slowly away. Oh, no. We're in the hedge. Herbert sees you all and makes a mad dash. The cowboy grabs that revolver, slams the hammer down, and tries to shoot at Herbert. Thankfully, his dexterity is fantastic, and he is just dodging left and right. If the llama were in the Matrix, he would have a very excellent survival rate. Uh, I'm going over to that cowboy and attempt to grab the gun from his hand. Excellent. I'm going to need you to roll a brawl plus strength. I don't do these very well. I only have a nine die pool. Uh, eights and up? Yes, indeed. One, two, three, four, five successes. Oh, boy. Um, uh, you break his hand. Nope, I just lied. I completely lied to you. My brain is fried. I'm so sorry. Three successes. Uh, you break his hand. I was for some reason. Three. Yeah, you still break his hand. Uh, he rolled no successes, and you are... I recall correctly, a beast or an ogre? I'm a beast. Yes. Uh, you oh, what about your hand. character? Ah. Oh dear. Um. <laughs> so, uh, this cowboy screams in pain, but the other cowboys just watch because Wild West, it's not really, you know, not too unheard of for two people to get in a fight. But someone sees you. Sees you for what you really are. He comes sauntering up. Well, We're still wearing you know? like our normal clothes, right? Oh, yes. 
So I'm yes, wearing like a super deep V with like a leather jacket and ripped jeans. Yes. Uh, I'm going by the picture in the uh, quick start. So I am wearing what looks like jeans, Doc Martens, a tank top, and a blazer with pockets full of tools. I'm dressed like a scene girl. <laughs> with big stripy socks and an oversized hoodie and a skateboard. You're a pirate. Whatever. I'm digging it. What? Based on what? Please tell me Red has a peg leg. How would I skateboard exceptionally well with a peg leg? Um, haven't you seen people with prosthetics skate exceptionally well? Not with a peg leg! <laughs> um, Alice is probably wearing I a... I ten dice skateboard. <laughs> ...pair of, uh... Skinny jeans, like a solid color t-shirt, and reasonably, uh, like those pull-on sneaker flat things. Like, very, I'm running after everything all day. That's fair. And I figure Alice is a real smart cookie, and probably in a bag carries two different pairs of shoes. Work oh, shoes of and... of course. You walk around, there's llamas everywhere, you're gonna step in something. <laughs> What's this yeah. big galoot wearing? He is wearing jeans, traditional, like non-stretch jeans, cowboy hat, uh, button-up shirt, vest, and assless chaps. But all asses are chapless. All chaps are assless, sorry. <laughs> yes. If he's a cowboy, wouldn't by definition any hat he wears be a cowboy hat? Or are you saying he's wearing a classic Stetson? Classic Stetson. Thank you, actually. Yeah. That was... That makes sense. So, um... Comes up to you. I see y'all ain't from around here. How can I help you? Well, first off, tell this varmint. Like, what? Vermin? Tell, tell this guy, and I point to the guy and I took their gun. Stop shooting my llama. Yeah, you now have a revolver, by the way. Oh no, I'm handing it back to him. I don't want this. He can't hold it. You broke his hand. I grab his left hand and put it in his left hand. My arm, my arm, what did you do to my arm? Uh, I broke it, but you have two, so suck it up. That's my shooting hand. Learn to shoot with the other one. All right, you'll be all right. What if I get gay? Or maybe explore the path of pacifism. Pacifism. Pacific Ocean? Yeah, it's pretty far away, I think. I don't know where we be, but the sea always calls to me. We're in the Old West, which is, like, not really all the way west. Because when you go all the way west, you go out California way. And that's not the insane. Old West anymore. And this <laughs> broken-handed cowboy runs off. While this more calm and collected cowboy is just watching you guys. I mean, I want to argue the point. California is absolutely part of the Old West. No, that's California way. It's a different thing. Yeah, right. I've seen the, the mask of Zorro. Uh, uh, sir, I, I am here trying to wrangle that llama. Antonio Banderas. Uh, these, I don't know who these people are. I don't think I got their names. I'm Alice. Hopefully it's nice to meet you. She's a socialist worker. I'm a social worker, I'm not a socialist worker. She doesn't know how to build really, a fence. Shouldn't most workers be socialists? I have nothing against like socialism. I just don't want to talk politics in the wild, wild west. Yeah, I don't these seem so wild. They seem to have laws that govern the streets here. It's weird, very rude control. of you to make assumptions. So, um, I'm assuming that y'all are from a different time. Yeah. Whatever makes you think that? You know what they say about assuming. Makes an ass out of you and me. 
I was going to say it was based off of, you know, observable information and inference. Oh. We got a smart ass over here. No, it's Anyhow. a smart llama. What is Herbert doing right now? <laughs> uh, I'm assuming that's your llama. That's, that's, that's the llama. Uh, and uh, we need to get him now. Yeah, uh, y'all's vortex has been sucking a couple llamas through. Well, we've been getting a lot of different uh, travelers from this neck of the woods for a while, but it's the first time that it's gone the other way. Right. Oh, no, it, it ain't the first time. Oh. College. Y'all can call me Ethan. Um. And uh, I think I can help you a bit. Get your llama back. Come on. Is the llama gone? <laughs> no, he's off running into the sunset, much like a cowboy. But well, what about um, the other llamas? Um, oh, I think the llama will probably die in the desert if we don't go get him back. Oh, well, um, but... one of the llamas has assimilated into our society. Quite a bit of an anomaly. Uh, Hold on. I... Wait. Before you go any further, is the llama your mayor? No. Are the llamas allowed to vote? <laughs> yes. That's good. That she tries quickly. to stop them from voting where she's from. No, the llamas and cats can both vote. You what said do you you're mean? trying to not make them have a... You said you try to stop them from having a voice. We try to stop them from cursing off tourists. What do you mean the other llama has assimilated? So, um, this, well... Their name is Kay, and um, they're doing pretty good at being the secretary for the mayor. Okay, I guess if they're happy. Oh, they are quite happy. It was it was just Kay else. No O. What? So no, their name okay. was Kay, and then you said okay, but I think that's a corral. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> oh. You got an okay corral around home. here? What be the name of this town? Oh, this is the town of Tumbleweed. Who is president? You know, we don't quite have them. We are. Y'all are in the hedge. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> God. Hold it. Oh, my God, we shit posted it in reality. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you did. This also, because is... um, I wasn't sure who the president was at the time of Cowboys. So. Pick a year, I'll tell you. Uh. Years are my worst part of history. You're gonna uh, want to go with around eighteen seven, like eighteen seventy five to eighteen eighty, probably. You can go up to nineteen hundred, actually. And uh, I think eighteen hundreds. It, yeah, eighteen hundreds. Well, you can say Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, been all of the eighteen hundreds. No, was, like the who was James Stephen James Hulk. <laughs> Stephen Green. Uh, anyhow. Ah, the Green Party. After me own heart. So, um... Yeah. I, there ain't no way you're gonna catch up to that llama now. Y'all have spent too much time chit-chatting. I can fly overhead and make sure that, uh, we don't lose track of him. I can catch him, no problem. I have an out-of-character question. Yes, indeed. Never mind. That says it's an initiative bonus, not a speed thing. That's unfortunate. <laughs> All right. Question retracted. We're good. Uh, wait. Is that is that a uh, broken-handed cowboy still around? Oh uh, no, he ran off screaming. Okay. Hey. Yeah, but it's the old west. He couldn't have ran too far. 
Get me his boots. Oh yeah, we're gonna need hats. Hats. hats Listen, hats, I need hats. I need that cowboy's boots specifically for a thing. I got him. I have and seven league leap, and it's free if I'm wearing an enemy's boots. I got you. Don't worry. And I'm gonna use my survival hunting to track the broken-handed cowboy. And while they're doing that, Alice turns to Ethan and says, "That would be lovely." Imagine how cool it would be doing seven league leap on a skateboard. Also, at this point, I don't know if I'm crossing the streams of World or Chronicles of Darkness. This is my Corvax character, Ethan. Corvax? I am crossing the streams, streams, but it's the hedge. Who cares? This is the hedge. All things are one in the hedge. Uh, yeah, so um, to save you all from losing your minds, he will walk around the corner closer to the vortex, change into a crow, and fly towards Herbert. I will attempt to follow. I will like, also follow on my I don't have any special powers. I'll just break into a jog. Uh, Red... Yes, Stephen, I will get to you in one moment, sir. I, I, <laughs> I have the steed magic. Explain. Uh, I have contracts under the steed category. Okay. So I assume I can to... travel fast. I'm not sure what Regalia. Regalia is what it's called. Oh, so that. I also have, have fleet of look... foot. So what would you like to use? Ben? My speed is 14. I would like to outrun the llama. Does anyone know the land speed of a llama in the Wild West? Listen, if Alice could catch it, a laden or unladen llama. <laughs> He's laden with a cowboy hat. The land speed of a llama is approximately 40 miles an hour. Across... You're not catching that fucking llama. I need those boots, damn it. <laughs> Leander. The thick fur of llamas helps protect them against animal bites. Llamas' eyes, like those of many prey animals, are on the sides of their head, enabling them to see in all directions. Llamas oh. can escape predators by running at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, and their ability to spit deters predators. All right, two things. So, New yes. World of Darkness, speed is strength plus dexterity plus size. Humans oh. have a size 5. If something is bigger than a human has a size bigger than five, something smaller than a human has a size smaller than five. So, like, pixies are size one. So, I have a speed of 12, and I can add three to that. So, I can get up to a speed of 15. Oh, so a caribou has a size of 10. A horse has a size of 12. Oh, no, speed. That's a speed. A horse only is a 12? It has a speed of 12. I'm faster than a horse? I guess. We are changelings. We're not peoples. <laughs> and that's without the skateboard. Um. So also you find that your skateboard is being supremely difficult on the dirt and rocks and horse manure. And tumbleweeds. Hold on. Hold on. Oh god. Hold on. Achieve exceptional success on three early meetings, subterfuge of each story, which one's pursuing thread, glamour, unarmed. Okay, I don't know what any of this contracts do. At the very bottom of the um, jumpstart PDF, it lists all the PDF, not the very bottom. But oh, like, I see it. I see it. Yeah, it lists all the ones that we have. Understood. Okay. All right. I have two questions. One, and I know you're probably trying to move this along, so I would like to. Hey, this is suffering at your own pace. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> um, I legitimately do want to use my survival hunting 
uh, to hunt down the broken-handed cowboy with, again, my speed of 12. Um, well, a cowboy, you, you're you going to catch up to him, but you do need to find out where he went. He's well, not in sight anymore. Isn't he flying? No, no, no. There's Ethan... The, the 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 one that was kind of helping us oh, right. to a crow and was the one whose hand i broke who was just kind of a dipshit sorry the cowboy singularity is getting to me oh, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. All right. follow the cowboy which one so um i'm going to use survival hunting um to uh track him down all right so use your wits plus survival Okay, that is... Oh, no, you can also... Eh, use your stamina plus survival. If that's better for you. No, which would have been better. Oh, well, you can use that. Thank you. Three, four, five dice. Uh, we're doing that special super dope ass Tyler rule where tens to cancel ones, right? Uh, I don't. Ones I don't... what ones? This is chronicled. I don't think ones do that. Oh, they don't. Oh, then yeah, uh, I got um, uh, ones only botch if you roll no successes and ones. I rolled a ten. We're taking that as a roll again, or just two successes? How do we feel tonight? Would you like to double your tens, or would you like to explode them? I feel like exploding, because unlike Old World of Darkness, we don't need a specialty to do that. True. We normally just do the double tens for the sake of time. Alright, let's just do double tens then. Well, I mean, but exploding is kind of entertaining. Two successes for Leander. I exploded successfully um, yes. and got a nine on that roll. That... I'm going to put my two cents in and say explosion because that we're in the Wild West, Deadlands, you explode your successes. Well, Steve, because... do you explode in Wild West horse opera? What? <laughs> All of a sudden you hear a train go by. It's got a lot of boxcars on it. <laughs> oh no, the train has crashed and a large shipment of D6s comes flooding the streets of this town. Poor Steve. I am playing that game on this channel. I I'm going to need you to roll your uh, dexterity plus athletics to avoid <coughs> the dice. All of you. Really? All right. This is punishment, yes. Dexterity and athletics? <laughs> yes. What the fuck? <laughs> well, so, um, K roll, or <coughs> sent you guys a lovely, uh, Elder Gods. And I am sitting here deviously causing you to suffer with dice while I play with my slime. One success. One success. Excellent. I botched. Oh God! Uh, you are buried under an. I rolled of nine dice. That's incredible. Uh, Spend not a willpower? A question mark. That just gives me three more dice. I think I have to do it before uh, I roll. Yeah. Um, oh my God! Also... I'm Rachel's mummy. <laughs> what about my mummy? Remember when your mummy rolled like fourteen dice and got zero successes? Oh, yeah, that's because my dice are trying to kill me. Speaking of, how was that roll for you, Rachel? Uh, I'm sorry, what was I supposed to roll? <laughs> uh, dexterity plus athletics to avoid the avalanche of d6s. Red, um, you land on a d4. Only one? Just one. Yeah, on I your also left botch. butt cheek. Oh boy. Ash, you are also buried under the avalanche of D6s and you feel just a D100 right at the small of your back. So you see this like tidal wave of dice crash over Ash and she's just like, no. 
And the last thing you see is her hand getting overwhelmed by dice. It's a very sad and plaintive no. This is Alice's fault, um, Yar. Unfortunately, being that it is back in ye olden times, these dice are all made out of bone. That's a lot of dead things. Who is that? Like oh my god, is that linked to the creepy circle that nothing grows in in our town? Maybe. What? Oh my god. <laughs> are they uh, haunted? Oh my god, the story's yeah, coming together. No, it's not. <laughs> Uh, so, Alice, you make a mental note to um, dig in the circle of nothing but death to find out what might be causing it, which might be another mystery that we try and figure out in our town of friendship. Anyhow, so um, the dice I'm writing finally... writing a Patreon game right now. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, if you want to find out how that concludes, subscribe to our Patreon. Uh, Ash and Red, thankfully the dice come to a stop. You hear like a couple rattle above you. You can easily just dig yourselves out. Um, however, you must wade through the worst of them as Alice and Lander have successfully navigated through the avalanche of D6s and are on the edge of said avalanche. Herbert is still frolicking off into the sunset. God damn it, with Herbert. Ethan following overhead. All right. I... Oh, good news is, is that you tracked the cowboy, the broken-handed cowboy, so well um, that when this train of D6s flipped over, haunted bone D6s flipped over, uh, he was caught in the avalanche as well. And you can sniff him out, pull him out, and do whatever you need to to said broken-handed cowboy. Can we okay, break so I... his other hand? Well, no, 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 no. So now that I have found him, right? I'm just gonna walk up to him. So wait, where are the hedge? Is he also a changeling? No. Strangely enough, no. Wait, so of all the cowboys that have been ending up in our town, are they all just changelings? No? no. Okay. Wait, you have a portal from the hedge straight into your town? I yeah. think it's behind a Denny's. And you don't have any fences around it? <laughs> nope. Uh, the one behind the Denny's is is uh, a very well hidden. You have more, multiple portals to cowboy times in your town? So this one you went through is very complicated. It leads to a pocket of time held within the hedge. Like, the hedge is around it, so it never changes. Well. Yes, I did so think this through. Thank you. So it's the hedge, but not the Listen, hedge. Listen, I have four dots yes. in a cult, the specialty in hedge lore. I would yes. like to know more about how this works. So, okay. Can I... Well, hold on. Before you get into the lore dump, because my <laughs> thing's stupid, and this sounds cool, can I intimidate the cowboy to oh, get wait. naked until I can take his hat and his boots? Wait, wait, let, me, let me help you first, Leander. Hey, cowboy friend, do you want to hear a secret about me? As long as you're not going to kill me. Cool. I'm going to use Witch's Intuition uh, and tell him that I'm secretly afraid of turtles. And... Uh, I roll wits and subterfuge plus mantle versus composure and weird. Red, Red what the hell are you doing? I'm doing a thing here. I, no, I'm making it easier no for you to do a thing. No successes. I have a lot of points in mantle, apparently. And that's three successes. Uh, I learned his greatest fear. His greatest fear. Oh, I'm going to eat some of his hair, too. This cowboy pees himself. 
thankfully it doesn't get on his chaps because they don't cover that part um so leander i don't know if you want those jeans anymore anyway uh his greatest fear is being bitten by a rattlesnake okay cool i'm going to turn it towards steve instead and make him afraid of being bitten by steve Also, because I ate part of him, I got a loophole and I'll spend any glamour. My god, Ben is such an excellent changeling. <laughs> Yar! <laughs> he will do this in absolutely every game and every setting. He is delightful and terrifying. It is terrifying and I love it. So now this cowboy is deathly afraid of being bitten by leander and will do anything he says completely and utterly he takes off every bit of clothing starts taking off his boxers unless you stop him. suck the pee out of those uh no i i don't think i will no i'm telling the cowboy <laughs> <laughs> no nah, um... the cowboy's not afraid of you red he'll bite you if he has to touch pee pants you don't have to take off your underwear. Just give me the hat and the boots and we're good. He hands you off the hat and boots. All right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to drink it. This cowboy looks afraid from red to Leander, red to Leander. Leander, what do you do? Get out of here. <laughs> And he goes and runs off. All right. I look to Tripping red. Tripping on D6s as he goes. I look to red. All right. Um, if you never do that again. Do I what again? You... I say with a mouthful of hair. Tell someone to do something as weird as that was. I will give you these boots. Hey, you across the way. That's no deal for me. Then I'm just gonna leave these boots here. And if they happen to end up on your feet so that you can do a super dope jump later, then. Oh no, it's cool. only during the scene that, uh, we, <laughs> that we took the boots from. Oh, <laughs> that's it? I thought you. Oh, well, then these are my boots now. Get out of here. I'm, you, I'm, I'm basically picked Rocket Raccoon to play. Because okay. I love it. All right. This, this I need that lot... guy's eye. Okay, then this, uh, this, this is not what I was expecting. Never mind. Apologies. For... Okay. I put on the boots. I put on the hat. We got to go save Ash from the D6s. All of those things are very, um, small on you but they do fit um my much like the picture of my pregen my toe claws cut open the front of the boots so that my toes can breathe and i can kick people for lethal damage okay granted your spurs are on the wrong side of your boots <laughs> he's do they go uh, jingle, jangle, jingle? No, they do not. More of a clickety clack. So, Ash, D6 is. Where's Alice in all of this? Alice! Alice is right next to you. Alice! She is next to you and looks utterly horrified by every single thing. Alice! I'm here. Oh! Where's Ash? I think she's digging herself out of the D6s. Yeah, have I, have a I overcome the bot yet? Uh, yes, that was just them burying you. Yeah, so Ash emerges like, that was unpleasant. I didn't enjoy that at all. You definitely have a bruise forming on your lower back from that D100. a d6 
dice have been around for a really long time. I don't buy that. I do not know the phrase D6. Are you talking about these devil bones? <laughs> it's what you play liar's dice with. Yes, we call them devil bones. Why You don't devil throw bones? them bones? You're okay. Um, maybe uh, we should... I need to go find Herbert. And if I can't find Herbert, maybe I need to go talk to Malama K and see if K can get Herbert to go back home. Listen, I've had to learn who a Harry Styles is in order to fit in. You could at least learn some of my lingo to help me out. We don't have to fit in with your time. That's stupid. This is bullshit. <laughs> Goddamn Faye. I learned to skateboard for this. <laughs> I made it my whole gimmick. So people would stop asking me what I was doing at Port Royal. It broke, Steve. <laughs> no breaks. <laughs> um, Red, you you get a bonus D10 for the next time you roll. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> out of character question how long do changelings live for if they're not murdered or, or stolen by stolen back and enslaved it depends on the contracts they have so like 10 years 3000 sky's the limit really like do they have a natural mean? lifespan so you could there was one way to become technically immortal. Go on. Uh, you get your weird up to ten. You keep it there for a given period of time, and then you become one of the true fae. How long is that given what period of time? What is that? Uh, it was pretty explicit in one of the supplements for first edition. I don't know if second kept it. Because I thought, you know, the reason the true fae were the true fae was because they're titles. And you need titles to become one. So um... That might be an update between editions. Uh, and as far as given period of time, it is not set. It is like storyteller's discretion how long you have to be a weird ten before you have essentially divested yourself of all of your humanity and it is essentially um you perpetuate the cycle of abuse uh Damn. this question that my, my face was not yeah. about what you were explaining rachel what is a spooky woo and why have they all been redeemed for us you have already you have already met your criteria for for a spooky woo and yeah. so did steve you try and fit it into something that you're saying and make it sound as natural as possible um, yeah, like, there's a lot of spooky woo in Changeling 1st Edition that you gotta read between the lines to pick up on. Yes. Also, uh, Red, you get a spooky woo feeling and look down at your skateboard. None of that was organic, I want you to know. Eh. Anyway. Uh, so... You look down, and one of the no, wheels I don't look is down. missing... You don't look down, but uh, one of the wheels from your skateboard is missing. Well, I'll find that out the next time I try to use it. Exactly. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, um... So we're all back together now. Ash is out of the D6. Yes. We're here. Okay. All right. <sighs> so we got to go get Herbert. Right. We're all in agreement. What about Alice. the mayor? I don't. Uh... If Kay has successfully integrated into this, I forgot to say it was Kay. Society, and is happy, and no one seems bothered. That's fine. And honestly, if this kind of spooky woo places the hedge, then maybe we can just leave the lawn. Are they going to cause any disturbance here? How does that work? I think it means we can do whatever we be wanting. So I believe Ben did want to find out more about this little pocket. 
Uh, in my brain, this is how this works. So the hedge is kind of an organic thing infused with magic. It has grown around this pocket of time and space. And it is perpetually this cowboy era. That's why they don't be having a president. We're in Can we're in Kansas territory. Okay, so Rosie understands in theory what you're saying. Yes. But I do not know how it applies to Alice's question. So you can make these human cowboys go absolutely crazy. Now imagine I'm saying all of that to you in pirate. Yar, you can make these cowboys lose their minds. They'd be out in the sun a bit too long, and the scurvy be setting in, but the jaundice is not yet quite deep, and the deep call of the sirens be after them. No one will notice. So we should go get the llama. We need to talk to the mayor first. Okay. We don't know if other llamas are allowed to go home or not. We do want to respect their llama, right? That's right. The llamas have a political situation that must be upheld and respected. For this freehold might fall. Now we have to go talk to the leader of this freehold, the llama then K. No, um, uh, Ethan said that K was not the mayor, the secretary. K is the secretary. Right, the secretary of state? <laughs> Maybe. Possibly defense. Llamas are notoriously good at defense. They use their spinning well, technique. Back then it was called secretary of war. Of war. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. You win this round, Red. I think it was like after World War One. it was changed to defense. So, uh, <clears throat> how about this? Two of us will just go snatch up Herbert, bring him back, and then the two of you figure out what's going on with the llama political landscape and if we can even get back home because that vortex only goes one way at a time so we need to find out where the switch is to yeah. send it back to us we need to find the dial home device it's probably just a toggle no i believe it's a big round disc with a red circle in the center that we're supposed to hit buttons on mm. you let the pirate watch the sci-fi network the what I lived in Vancouver for a while. I used to own a quarry and rent it out to film crews. Oh. That's great. A lot of orgies on those sets. What? What? <laughs> um. Uh, did you meet Richard Dean Anderson? Alright. No, but I met Don S. Davis. That man's got a sledgehammer down there. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm gonna go get the goddamn I'm, llama. I'm going with Leander. <laughs> I look back to Red and Alice. Enjoy your llama orgy. Now let's go <laughs> find out about the code of llama. <laughs> Ambrose hates us. No, I think Ambrose beautiful. loves this. I do. Um, also, you got a boost from Sword of Sullied for making a Stargate reference. <laughs> All right. So you. Oh, no, Leander, there's a D4 in your boot. Um, <clears throat> so you walk into the mayor's office. Please take one point of bashing. Leander. <laughs> I thought Leander was chasing I, the I'm llama. I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just no, kidding. I'm bad mouthing Stargate because uh, <laughs> it's not Babylon Five. They're I mean, not well, even real. Stargate, not Stargate Universe is pretty much Babylon Five. That is heresy, Stargate and you know it. How much Stargate Universe has anyone here watched? Ben, 
I've watched a lot of bad five. It does not. Okay, so I'm exist. the expert on Stargate Universe here. It does not exist. Then how could I have watched two seasons of it? So, <laughs> you walk into this mayor's office, and uh, there is a llama sitting at a typewriter. And there, yes. Does it right. have a special llama chair? Yes. Does it have Actually. giant buttons on its typewriter <laughs> for its yes. hooves? Actually, it looks kind of like a stenography uh, typewriter. Uh, so, like, the, the bigger buttons, space for their part. Um, well, that's but... still not big enough for a llama. Yes, it is llama-sized. Is it wearing a festive ball cap that says, like, paladin on it? No, it is wearing a festive cap that says warlock on it. You got me, old friend. <laughs> so this llama is sitting there typing away and if you understand stenography it's nonsense it is um this llama you could say is a master of rem as they are kind of sleeping while typing thank you master of rem for raiding you're in for a this is nonsense this chaotic game. mess yeah so uh this is how I assume all changeling games go now. Cause no. what was more crying? <laughs> more. Crying. Yes. Oh, lupine. This, also, this should have has... lombard support. I love it. Lupine, why would you do that? <laughs> so, uh, there, there is in fact a nameplate for this llama. It says K, uh, and then has this llama's pronouns she, they. And it says, Master Law Maker. To us. I quit Vorpal Tales. I officially rendered my resignation. <laughs> Thank you, goodbye. Can we just uh, this Tyler real fast? This llama looks at you. I take over Steve's office as Elder Thing. Eat your heart out, Sean. <laughs> um, <laughs> the Samalama looks at you. Hi, how can I help you? Hello, are, are you Kay? Yes. Hi, Kay, I'm Alice. You might have seen me around Friendship. Oh, yeah. How's it going? I haven't been there in a while. Yeah, there's been some uh, more recent llamas. Uh, I don't know if you remember Herbert, but we're trying to catch Oh, God, him. Herbert. Yeah, we figured it would be better if he came home with us. So we followed him through. Oh, yeah, it's because of his language issue, isn't it? Always cussing at everybody. Yes, he, he could be a little more polite. Uh... How's his husband doing? Wonderfully. Uh, they're an adorable couple. Wait. Wait, you have llama marriages? Yeah, don't you? I don't be I don't be operating a municipal government. Just a ship. Where the only law is the law of the sea. And consent. Well, you have fun with that. Only if the other person agrees to it. I appreciate the consent factor. Now, um, how can I help you get Herbert home? We be needing um, eight stout men have in a long ship. Llama bait. Isn't that what Alice is holding? Yeah, llama. And... I have llama snacks, and I will offer one to K. <gasps> Thank you. They don't have these here. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Also, uh. You I was wondering if maybe you could talk to Herbert and convince him to come because, uh, I mean, I don't want to force him to come back with us, but I, I don't think you want him here and his his husband would miss him so much. Yeah, also, do you want to come home with the internet and everything? Oh, no, I love this job. But the internet. 
Yeah, but I get to make all the laws. Yeah, the mayor is like really that. just a face. <laughs> so, um, I can write a law for you for Herbert to come home. The unlawful llama, though? A lawful llama? What? Yes. Is he a lawful llama or an outlaw llama? I don't think they have falafel here. Falafel lawful llama. Um, so if I recall correctly, Herbert doesn't really care for falafel. I'll gladly take some, though. And, uh... I don't know. I mean, he likes to, to cuss at the tourists, but I don't know how he's on laws. Could you make a law that allows the portal to be open both ways? Oh no, I can't make anything go both ways. Oh, I thought your laws had some sort of metaphysical impact. Oh no, I give you a slip of paper. Oh, so they're not like you change the laws of the freehold here. Oh, no, 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 not at all. That would be pretty cool, though. Um, I think it would be very helpful if you could write into law that Herbert has to return to us or with us because um, it might just reinforce whatever little authority I, I don't have over him. Yeah, he was always extra sassy with you. You got it. And then so Kay the llama begins to type on the stenography machine a law and dips the hoof in ink, puts the hoof on the paper, and hands you the law by nudging it forward. Wait, the mayor doesn't have to, like, stamp it? Oh, no. The mayor's just a face. You don't have to use the mayor's stamp or anything? You just use your hoof? Yep. Can I be mayor? No. No. <laughs> Can I be Say mayor? please. You quit. <laughs> uh, also, I DM Tyler about that he quit already. <laughs> <laughs> Quote, okay. yo, Steve just quit live on air. <laughs> um, so, the one thing that Kay the Llama does hand you is a paper version of a deputy's star. Here, these are good passes to deputize you for one whole day. Oh, yeah. oh, I have a thing I can do. I have a thing I can do. I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. Uh, see, that's not, it's not that one. No, it's not that one. <laughs> oh, never mind. I thought oh. I could change one substance into another, but instead I can just make myself into an inanimate object. I was going to turn the paper into brass, but I don't have that ability. You could make yourself a cactus. Wait, wait. I have a blessing that allows me. That says if I touch something insubstantial, I become a part of it. If I touch the paper, does that mean I'm touching the concept of the law? Yes. I could become law for three turns. Yes, you can. Do it. Then I can make all sorts of crazy laws. For three minutes. How many horrific laws can you make in three minutes? Well, here's the thing. Uh, Red, again, I, I will start. I will follows start only the law of the sea and the law of consent. So he would, she wouldn't actually do anything to without without people's consent under the rule of law. Unlike this horrid llama that was not elected. You have three minutes, Red. Red will not be doing it. <laughs> Dang. 
But I love you, Ben. We should I overthrow you so this, much. this tyrannical <laughs> government. Um, and Kay the Lama just looks at you. Wait! Do you know what you can do right now, Red? You could become the idea of the law and then officially implement maritime law into effect. <laughs> I think Rachel will oh, reach the computer and kill me. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I no, I think, I think it's I, great. I think I tried to do that in like the first episode of the Orient Express game. <laughs> but I'm not running this game, so go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I I will allow it. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. And it's the law of the sea, not maritime law. Maritime law. And that no, would no, turn this whole place into, instead of the cowboy times, it would just become the golden age of sail. No, no, it's it's maritime law because the flag has a fringe on it. No, I only and obey the like... law of the sea, though, not maritime law. That would require respecting a government. Well, no, it would require you actually becoming the spirit of the law to impose it. So, you would have to carry on this act to see what exactly happens. Well, if on maritime law, it would only affect the areas on the sea, right? It, and this area is now governed by it, which would mean it would transform into the sea retroactively. Because we're in the hedge, and that's how bullshit in the hedge works. Again, I have four or, dots in a cult with a specialty in hedge lore. Or I'm making the rules become, now. It could become a sea of sand. Wait, the we hedge are probably is close to a desert. I could, I could, I could <gasps> that means the that we would get no. That means that we would get ships pulled by sandworms. <gasps> would Eric join the game? We can send him a message. <laughs> I've never. I've only watched. No, I've only read the first book. I haven't even watched the movie. The movie is pretty good. I'm waiting for the second one. So down. we've we've come up with a way to make a Dune Changeling crossover, but let's move on. <laughs> do you do you choose to act on this? No. Okay. So fix my skateboard. Oh, I'll say no. All of that for nothing to happen. I am fine with either. To who, be honest with you, who knows what kind of spooky we'll get to? What did you even just say? Uh, I got her. <laughs> what did you even just say? <laughs> we got her, chat. Uh, what? I'm so confused. We got her. So, uh, you are still in this mayor's office with Kay the Llama just staring at you waiting for you to do something. I they deputized you. Something. Such as... Well, I don't know. I'm just saying I could do it. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I, was like... I could. I could jury rig a llama net. Like a butterfly net, but llama sized. Oh, we're in the llama hunting scene now? You're still standing in, in uh, Kay's office uh, until oh, you thought... say that you leave. Oh, I thought me and Ash went after her. Oh, did you? You've been talking to the llama. Ash has been talking to the llama the entire time. Oh, Ash has? Oh. Yeah. Oh. I thought we split the party because y'all were gonna... It was the whole... Okay. Cool. Sweet. Let's go get Herbert. Good luck! Kay calls to you as you head out of the office. Is she now eating fancy sushi and posting the pictures to Discord? Uh, she is eating fancy sushi, however, is sushi. reading yaoi fanfiction. What? Dare I ask what the fanfiction is of? Yaoi. 
I thought that was a style. You should Google it. Don't, I'll don't do it Google later. It. I don't think anyone needs to see my reactions on stream. No, no, no. We do. Um, so anyway, uh, yes, and salivating over wrestlers. Um, so. <laughs> Are we talking about the Google Doodle? Because he deserves to be salivated over. Oh, that guy's a motherfucking god. Literally a short king. And now the llama can breathe fire. I'm into it. Unbeknownst to you, um, Herbert has come across Ghost Pepper, uh, a Ghost Pepper bush. Oh, no. He has eaten the entire thing. Unfortunately, oh, no. it was made with real ghosts. And now Herbert can breathe fire. Can he control the fire? No, he just kind of belches and it comes out. It gave him indigestion really bad. I have those tongues because I was going to give them to the portal. <laughs> this could be a bargaining chip. Well, listen, Betty spent a thousand bits on this. But we have to get it down Herbert's throat. I have no combat skills. <laughs> All right. Give me the goddamn tubs. Wait, it's not <laughs> Hold on. Is fire intangible? I mean, you can't really touch it. You can. It's just bad things will happen. Well, so but like fire... Cat, like, you can, like, put your hand through it. I mean, fire is technically a chemical process. Not an object. Listen, can it go through doors? <laughs> it can eat doors. I wouldn't say it could go through a door, yeah, but it could ghosts. eat a door. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what happens. But anyway, I think uh, as you head off into the sunset, which has been going on for about three hours somehow now, uh, I think this is a good time to take a break. Cool. We'll be back in five to ten minutes, folks.
Welcome back, everybody. We were just discussing uh, what household pet Ben would be. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> my, my vote is exotic lizard. I think a ferret. Listen, if my prediction like, comes true, I'm ending the stream. Not not exotic <laughs> lizard, but like something that's technically illegal and doesn't have a permit. Oh, the Komodo <laughs> dragon? Yeah, or like no. a Galapagos tortoise. A, Bank my body uh, says ferret. A South Florida iguana. Like Florida Keys or South Florida? Anything. South Florida. Any, it's South Florida. So basically anything from like Homestead down, there just has like a massive iguana um, problem. <laughs> because, you know, back in the 70s, someone brought a couple of iguanas over to sell at flea markets. And everyone bought one because they thought it was cool. And now didn't realize how big they got. The and then how aggressive they are. They're fucking mean, and their tails are weapons, and they will fucking smack the shit out of you. Rosie, them. I Rosie a kid, has a fun iguana story about her mom. You know, except for the tails, this is how Long Beach has a flock, several flocks now of wild parrots. I thought you were gonna say flocks of iguanas, and I wasn't sure. <laughs> What do you think the group of iguanas is called? A herd? Um, iguanas <laughs> called a mess. A mess of iguanas. <laughs> a mess of iguanas. <laughs> that feels very apt. It is quite appropriate as we return to the mess of the story. Uh, a beautiful mess. Oh. It's also called an army of caterpillars. I love it. It's amazing. There's a parliament of owls, so I'm pretty sure we all knew that one. I love that one. I love a good murder, though. I went to Temple, which has the owl as a mascot, and there are the oldest guys on the basketball team that never got played, and we called them the parliament. <laughs> it was good. Nice. So, uh, Herbert... Where were is, we? Is a llama... He's a llama. What's a group of llamas called, though? How about we turn him into a warbird? A triumvirate. Would that work as a threat? I don't have no idea. A group of llamas is called a herd. Oh, I get oh, it. That's boring. What about I alpacas? prefer triumvirate. I also do prefer triumvirate. That is official in this universe now. Um, this is. You have to return Herbert. To Man, we're fucking up this Patreon game in some way. <laughs> oh no for sure no this is stuff that's happening in the hedge i think it'll all be fine but her to be, bit... fair, to be fair it's not even the hedge it's like a pocket inside the hedge from what i understand that is somehow linked to your town in some sort of massive security flaw i so <laughs> full disclosure i'm pretty sure alice is finding this uh a relief compared to the last story there was a lot of trauma um, in the first three sessions of our Patreon game. This is very, very different. If you sign on to the Patreon game expecting this, no. <laughs> no, definitely not. The trigger warnings, gore, There are no murder. cool skateboarders that hate Harry Styles in that game. Wow, when you put it like that, Red is just basic as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, because those are the defining character traits of Red in this game. Wow, you skateboard and hate Harry Styles. You're so fucking cool. It's more like he resent she re resents Harry Styles for having to be forced to learn about him. So, um... It, and also, you do notice, uh, if you care to, uh... This sunset has literally been happening for three hours. Okay. All right. That seems like it's going to be important. Is it no. a beautiful no, sunset? It is a fucking gorgeous sunset. It is the prettiest sunset that you've ever fucking seen, and that sunset says trans rights. Oh. Yeah, it does. You bet Wait, does. the sun can talk? No, it just has the colors. Oh, okay. Cool. Do uh, sun does it make us like feel like... Out? Sorry, go ahead. I was just asking, do the sunbeams spell out trans rights? I'll allow it. 
Fuck yeah. Question. Yes. Does the sun make us feel like it did Brendan Fr- Sunset make us feel like it did Brendan Fraser in the movie Bedazzled? It's the same fucking thing and I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> it has been such a long time since I've seen that movie. Please refresh my mind. Well, is there dolphin safe tuna? Okay. All right. Yes. We, we have a plot. We have a plot and we have... <laughs> Thirty-ish minutes to get to both started. We agreed this was going to be a crazy, silly game. Yes. We're achieving our plot. This is a sandbox silly. Steve For stopped sure. me from crying as it just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Were you about to turn into the most sensitive man in the world? Is oh that- my god! Oh my god, Betty. I thought you were, not Betty, Lupine, I thought you were lying, but a group of ferrets is indeed called a business. <laughs> you didn't know that? Wow. It's no. so good. My world That's is why so much when you have... now. <sighs> you need many ferrets so that you can have a business meeting. All right. And a skulk of foxes. Yes, uh, you notice a creep walking by, by the way. A creep? Yeah, a group of tortoises. I was gonna make a, I was gonna make a joke, but no matter what, it was gonna be mean about whoever I said. Oh, is so and so walking by? <laughs> so also, uh, you can hear, you know, in the footsteps. If you if you listen very carefully, uh, the song "I'm a Creep." Just just the rhythm of it with the tortoises' footsteps. They're just parading by, and Herbert is still galloping off into the sunset. How is All this of a sudden, galloping in our view? Also, what happened to the Korax? He's still following. He's he's fading off into the distance as well. Are they in one of those like endless hallways, like they're like put to the sunset? All of a sudden, Herbert just seems to fall out of view. Please, uh. Let's do an observation roll. Sorts. Oh no, he I... was uncontrollably breathing fire. Was. Uh, you you just see. The oh, God damn it! It's just a fucking llama just trotting along, never so often, just like a plume yes. of flame goes shooting off into the sky. Yes, that is exactly what you see. Uh, he what? singes a few of Ethan's feathers, also. What? Yeah, there'd be a wildfire out there. What? We have to see the town. (laughs) So I would like you to roll your wits plus hmm. Be a good observation. Composure. uh, Yeah. It's wits and composure for uh, Chronicles. Well, fine. Be that way. (laughs) Roll your wits plus composure, please. Also, thank you. I've had to look it up so many times because, like, they never put it where you want them to. No successes, but no botches. You just notice him disappear. He be off the edge of the map now, mate? You'll have to find out, I guess. What the fuck was that? (laughs) That's my (laughs) gimmick! What are the rest of the rolls? Ooh, an explosion. Ooh. Oh, that was for everybody? I'm sorry. Yes. Four uh, successes, D. Beautiful. That was wit's composure? On the yes, bones please. cast before me. Wow. <gasps> oh my god. Yes. I rolled three tens. Oh they explode! my god. Yeah, they explode. <laughs> Today, tonight, one time only. Yeah, a group of cobras would also make me quiver. Thank you. Uh, if they explode, then that's four successes total. Beautiful. Zero for Leander. Okay, Leander, you also notice just Herbert disappears. Red and Ash, however, you notice that there is another spivagetification to Herbert. And as he goes down, all Alice and Leander see are him disappear and then a shoot of, of flames. 
uh, red and ash, you notice that the flames are done in Morse code of SOS. Well, we follow the law of the sea here. That old 90s song under her breath, um, sending out an SOS. <laughs> Message in a bottle? Yes. She just starts singing that under her breath. Ah, a classic. We used to sing it aboard the sloops back in the day. You I hope win. they get my yard. <laughs> Listen, uh, I am not one to ignore an SOS. You notice Ethan is just circling above. Uh, I'm taking off towards the SOS if they've announced it. I was very subtle about it, but yes. I was not. <laughs> you see another vortex before you. Ethan lands next to you. So, um, your llama, Herbert, you got sucked into another vortex. Now, I, I've never seen this one before. So, uh, y'all are on your own. Got my cattle to take care of here, and should the good vortex pull me into, well, whatever's on the other side, you know, the one that y'all came through, I'll be seeing y'all later. Thanks, Ethan. Um, is there anyone that you, any messages you need taken back to friendship or anything like that? I don't know how long you've been here. Oh, I've been here a real long time, since the hedge grew around it. Yeah, think about that one, Ben. <laughs> Listen, I've got to make some calls to, to Ruffle Jacks. Who I believe writes on this game line <laughs> to ask her about these lore implications. Uh, I don't actually know how old um where anything's live, <laughs> but uh, this is a, a a time and place and space within the hedge, so anything's possible. The grow around it part, though. Yeah, I push um. Ethan in with us. Why the fuck would you do that? Because why would I give up the fact that we have a goddamn crow that can like scout for us? <laughs> and if this thing goes where I think it's going, we need a talking bird. Just what? <laughs> <laughs> Just, just be honest here. You're just digging this voice. For I the have this character. parrot here. I you mean, not want to be ta using me talking bird. <laughs> I've had Ambrose, this whole we are time. We're digging the Ethan voice. We are. Be honest. <laughs> oh, you're killing me, Smalls. Um. Yeah, he is right now just bird. So you oh, could even hey, perfect. Oh, I could make him scared of not going through the portal. I'm just gonna grab it. What are you talking through. about? Consent like 20 minutes ago? <laughs> That's when it comes to law. By the way, if you ever come right. back to this time, you're gonna come across a one handed cowboy that has a hook for his shooting hand. How? Wait. <laughs> How does that work? It's the hedge. Never mind. Alright, let's go find him and make him scared of doctors. All right, we gotta get we gotta get through this because we got we gotta get Herbert. We've been I've been we've been chasing Herbert. No, we Herbert wanted back. to meet Amelia Earhart. Right, and I can't meet Amelia Earhart until I get Herbert back. Why the fuck do you think I'm doing this? <laughs> Listen, we're gonna sell Herbert. Coming Herbert with needed. us. Grab, jump through portal. I mean, I bet Amelia Earhart would like to pet a llama. Yama. I bet she fucking no. hates Herbert. Now turn me into Vettachini That's and let's a terrible go. thing to accuse Amelia Earhart of. Listen, we Herbert do indeed sucks. jump through the... No, he spoke no, wait. after the wait, talking wait, 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 wait. It was established before that we could see Herbert on the other side of the first portal. 
So we can see what's on the other side of this portal, right? Do you Hello, look Martin down? No, no, there's <laughs> cosmic distortion. Do, do you do you look into the vortex? From a distance, yes. yes. Herbert is drowning in the sea. No, the law of the sea. <laughs> the law of the God damn it, <laughs> I have to go save them. It's it's Martlet's okay. law. So here is my plan. I'm diving I, through. I am going to dive through the portal. And I'm going to use one of my powers to turn myself into an inanimate object. I'm going to turn myself into an inflatable raft. Dope. Like Mrs. Incredible and the Incredibles, okay. And if possible, I'm going to try and dive under Herbert and then transform so that he's, like, resting in the raft. I'll allow it. Okay. Also, uh, uh, this so like vortex... To look up if there's any roll I need to make. This vortex, by the way, does not spaghettify all of you. It linguinifies you. Yeah. Uh, the next one that you God cross... damn it. <laughs> Alright. As long as you don't get ravioli I must roll manipulation plus persuasion plus weird. So that is five, seven dice. Beautiful. Fuck my life. Oh no. I botched. No! <laughs> She's dead! Um, You're drowning under her heart? Good night. Hold on. I want to I wanna pump any points towards Rachel I can from whatever I can spend with the, with the, um, hold on. What's the word? With the, uh, the, the stipulation that um, when she becomes this raft, it has to be the SS Martlet. Wait. Martlet Games rated us with 11. Ooh, Allow it. Uh, I have a better thing to do than what Steve wants to do other than the SS Martlet. I'm going to use uh, Unravel the Tapestry. And allow Rachel to roll And again. allow Rachel a re-roll. <laughs> yeah. Let me make my die roll first to see if I fuck it up. And don't fuck it up. Eve, I, I thought your plan was excellent. Ten dice. I mean, if, if red fails. Good news. Uh, that's five successes. Oh, that is an exceptional success. Oh, am I, wait, was I a darkling? Really? I am also a darkling, so there's a bonus thing. Uh, I can reflexively move before it happens. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I think that's in combat. Yeah. I mean, if you want to move before she casts anything, you can. No, I'm good. I'll okay. be like sitting down on a stump, maybe. All, All of a right. sudden, Red is sitting on a stump. With, like a pipe. <laughs> With a For pipe. the record, I'm spending a willpower on this. Okay, you can do that. Yeah. Oh, yay. Okay, I got a 10, an 8, an 8, and a 9. So We're, we're doing, doing exploding tonight. Another <laughs> 10. Oh, well, okay, keep going. An 8. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 successes. Thank you, Red. So, uh, you could be an inflatable raft, or you can become a pirate ship. A ship of the line. A man of war. All right. Or a jet ski. I, I... Oh or an aircraft God. carrier. No, jet that's a little too big. It's really tempting, but I don't think llamas know how to ride jet skis. They don't. Uh, so, um... But and then I again, mean, well, they can type. make laws? <laughs> so, the pirate name. ship is also tempting. But I don't want to be stuck in that form, and I'm pretty sure if I transformed, eventually Ash would be like, "Guys, guys, I want to change back now." I'm like, "Just, just a couple more days, Ash. Just a couple more days." Uh, so I, I am going to transform into a wooden rowboat. Oh, we'd sell you, and then, you know, with a little uh, there's a little flag on the prow, with a gold fringe on it. 
Perfect. Does your flag mean death? No, it means I'm a sovereign citizen. Oh, okay. <laughs> a free woman of the land, we call it. <laughs> so, oh, uh... answer to the local sheriff. Now let's murder uh -huh. Captain Kidd. The only law I follow is the law of posse comitatus. Watch your language. <laughs> Prima noctis it is. Oh, my, we killed my, Steve. My mortal enemy is a guy named P. Barnes. God damn it. <laughs> so... I am not sailing upon the water. I am traveling upon the water. <laughs> so I've lost track of what that conversation <laughs> is. But... Um... <laughs> We're making it, fun of. I, I know I know you're making fun of sovereign okay. citizens, but um, is Herbert still drowning? No. Yes. Well, well no, because uh, well, I transformed myself beneath him. Okay, so yes, do describe how that looks for us, please, as you yeah. linguinify through the vortex. Yeah. So Ash just dives in, uh, and there's a big sploosh, and she disappears beneath the water, and she does not reappear. But then all of a sudden, Herbert pops up and kind of like bounces a little bit. And probably because he talks and is very crass, it's probably like, what the goddamn fuck? As he's now in a little rowboat with a little flag on the prow. Uh, you scare the flames out of him. <laughs> his, his head arches up and he just belches a large column of flame. Uh, as per Spank, my Betty. And uh, he does let out a string of cusses. What the goddamn fuck is going on? I was drowning, I was dying, and now there's a little dinghy. I don't and... know if I can talk while I'm in this form, so I'm just gonna, like, bob a little bit. I'll allow you speaking if you want. Or for flavor text, you can not. It's fine. I think it's more fun if I can't talk and I have to sort of communicate by rocking. Okay, I like it. So, uh, I will rock invitingly towards the people who are still on the other side of the portal. I will dive through. And and shout, vote. come aboard, mateys! Sing us a shanty! Uh, so, Herbert starts singing. There once was a ship that put to sea. The name of the ship was the Billy O.T. <laughs> <laughs> and he sings it in a deep bass as well. Uh, but every time he, he tries to uh, sing the words Weller Man, he belches fire. And it's a different color every time. What has he been eating? A ghost pepper bush made out of real ghosts. <laughs> and apparently a wide variety of salts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was okay. drowning for a long time. <laughs> what? He was drowning for a long time. Salt water. <laughs> and um, Alice does not go through the portal because she's not sure she can get back to friendship through that portal. <laughs> Leander, you have Ethan in your hands. I didn't know Alice was yellow. And you have Alice standing in Al front of you. Alice, we're already through one portal. What's two? If we can get back through one, we can get back through two. And I go through. Ethan oh. lets out a caw of anger as you drag him through the vortex. Is Are they from Boulevard? No, still a greedy. So not calzonied. Okay. I still so need to I'm go get Herbert. Just going to Bob invitingly. I allure them to Bob in the water. Is there land anywhere I can see? You don't have eyes. Look at my bow. That I can sense. Ooh. Oh, yes, you can sense land for sure. All right, so what you all see 
once Ash senses land is a little rose with little oars. Oars start like gently moving themselves. Can you show us your stern? That's an important question. We've only just met, sir. We've been traveling together for some time, Ash. Assume Alice is through the oh. portal and with this group of individuals because she still needs to get Herbert back to his husband. <laughs> so, Alice, you are a lovely rotini as you come through the vortex. Uh, and you land gracefully in the boat. Red, if you want that violin IRL, it's going to become that from your skateboard. No! <laughs> it's still got wheels. Absolutely not. <laughs> You're bobbing along in ash, and Herbert is belching away uh, flames. Please, unless you're the boat, roll me a dex plus athletics. Uh, unless you are the boat? Correct. Herbert is not looking down. He's looking side to side everywhere because he's in the middle of the ocean and he's scared. So he wasn't able to get in the boat? No, he was. Oh. He's he's, he's scared. In a boat. He's, he's scared. got thalassophobia. Okay. Understood. Got it. Um, and I can see that he's scared. Yes, you can definitely see he's scared. But I I need you to roll that Dex plus athletics because he's uh, looking around spewing fire. Oh. Oh, Dex. Oh. So I rolled uh, two eights and three tens, and then I rolled another ten, and that's the end of the story. So six successes. Red looks like. She is in the Matrix, just dodging the bullets. Ow. There's even a sick backflip in there. Ow. And Red Ow. somehow Ow. has. What do I have to do to make that not happen anymore? <laughs> what part of my ensemble are you taking offense at? Ben, please put the violin down. Don't put it down. Just don't play it. <laughs> I don't know how to play it, so they're done. <laughs> uh, I got one success. <laughs> oh, okay. So you, you just barely dodge uh, the flames. Uh -huh. Fire! There's a couple hairs uh -huh. that get singed, but you're all right. Alice is just sidestepping, sidestepping. And you see a giant pirate ship in the distance. But it's getting faster and faster as it encloses upon your space. Do I recognize the pirate ship? Yes, you do. Is it the Red dread pirate, pirate ship? Is it the dread pirate Fergus's? Yes, it is. Would you like to play Fergus? No. Oh, okay. No, his story is far too sad. I'll oh. play Fergus and just guess. Go for it. The ship pulls up beside you. Ahoy! Splash, splash. Chips. What? They look down at you. Do you... Need a hand. Permission to come aboard, Captain. Aye. <laughs> oh, we're and talking about hands. That's just not a good jib jab. Nautical. What? What is nautical? We've been, we've been, we've been saying nautical this entire time. <laughs> it's true. What? Maritime. Flash, flash, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, if, if we if we could. How do we yeah, get the llama I... out of the boat now? Oh yeah, Herbert. You can either 
you know, toss him across his shoulders or have him climb himself. How much does a llama weigh? Llamas are big. Llamas are big. Uh, so this llama is as light as cloud somehow. Oh. Oh. It's so fluffy! Just Herbert, though. None of the other llamas. Okay. I mean, that could be fun. We get oh. Herbert up to the... Up to... Uh, yeah. So... Once everyone is out of me, I will transform into human again. God damn it! God damn it, Rachel! <laughs> what the fuck? What? Stop I didn't say anything people. bad. No, we're the bad people for having dirty, dirty minds. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, Rosie. My sweet summer child, quite literally. <laughs> I missed something. I said you don't once all the know. people are out of me, I transform back into human. Oh, great. Cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> so she's making a Vor reference. <sighs> a what? Vor? Oh. V-O-R-E if you want to Google it. Oh, No, I, I know what that is because you've explained reference. it to me. I did not think that was a Vor reference. Uh, I, did, I don't know what I thought it was. But uh, we're. I'm we're sorry. On. I'm, I'm sorry. I just we got the line of the night. I thought it was a gangbang reference. <laughs> <laughs> I've been driving for seven hours straight. <laughs> Half of which was behind people who don't know how to drive on mountains. So we are now on the pirate Fergus's ship. <laughs> yes, we are, and I'm in human form. Great. Yeah. Picking splinters yep. out of my skin. Uh. Ooh. Is it obvious that these are changelings, or that this is part I, of a freehold? I mean, can't we tell? Yeah, you can. You can tell. Okay. Hi. Hey. Uh, well, thanks for picking us up. Uh, we were chasing this talking llama who was cursing off Taurus and belching fire, and now we need to get back to the town of Friendship. Rachel, did you want to play Fergus, or would you like me to? No, I have no idea who Fergus is. Okay. <laughs> well, you see here, we're a group of changelings on a pirate ship. Would you like to join our crew? No! <laughs> Maybe? What does it entail? I have but well, one question for you, Captain Fergus. I... How did you manage to chain that huntsman to your bow? Is there a huntsman? Yes. Yes. This is from the And in the mummy game. game, they freed it. Oh, shit. Which was a very bad move. <laughs> so, um, how did he chain the huntsman? On I have no idea. I didn't have to answer that question during the game. Oh, okay. It's complicated. You see, and then he trails off a story for next time. Yar. Yar. So can you get us back to the portal to get us back to friendship? Uh, what portal do you be talking? Wait, hang on. We're still discussing becoming pirates, and I'm open to that idea. Ah, well. You just stay aboard me ship. And you help with the treasure hunting, and the fighting, and the sailing, and the cleaning. I can deal with all of that. Peace out, guys. Nice knowing you. Ash. I'm gonna be a motherfucking pirate. You Ash. sure are. What? I'm happy for you. What are you doing? Becoming a goddamn pirate. This is a valid life decision. I've helped a lot of different people find careers. I've never seen anyone become a pirate before, but I've seen plenty of people become sea captains and sailors. Uh, I, I think this is a good decision. What stage is friendship in? I know the secret to defeating scurvy. This is we an figured important that question. Out a long time ago. I thought it was a landlocked, landlocked port. 
How do you be making captains and sailors there? <laughs> so. I'm right, aren't I? <laughs> Otherwise, you have to be a captain cowboy type. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I was trying to be supportive. Herbert belches another flame and accidentally sets off a cannon. It's fine, though. It just went out into the water. It's okay. It's just flavor text. Ghost pepper flavor. Um, Ethan bites you, Leander. Stop. Maybe you could let him go? Yeah, where do you think I'm gonna go? Back to the cowboy times? Those vortexes are only one way. Oh, we might as well become pirates. No, I don't know if y'all are cut out for being pirates. Leander, no. uh, Ethan lands on your shoulder. Yeah. All right. Okay, so it's all right. So yes, the portals are only one way, but only at a time we can reverse the polarity of the neutron <laughs> i was flow. waiting for you to say that <laughs> is it what are you rudy what is this <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get back where we're going that's the whole idea right we just gotta flush ourselves back the other way so roll 3d20 because you have the help from the ship i make i'm making i'm I'll stop now. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, we've been in cowboy times and I haven't been showing off my fucking cowboy models back here. Hell yeah. Damn it! <laughs> he has an it's entire town. Uh, I apologize. I was making a Star Trek re joke reference. Um, cause I'm, I'm, I like Star Trek. Uh, Check out our YouTube for our archives of Star Trek, in which uh, me and Rosie were members of a Federation it was Ambrose. Crew. So it was Ambrose. <gasps> you are the Doctor Assassin Romulan person. That's yeah. right. Wow. Yeah, I knew that. And I even was I the knew that one. Engineer. And I barely watched it. <laughs> And uh, I was a beta oh, Zoid, uh, officer. There's also a Mirrorverse uh, episode, which is weird. <laughs> That's um, all I can say. It's all anyone can say about it. It was a very weird episode. <laughs> okay. Captain. Captain. Hi. Is there a big-ass hole that you guys, like, tend to avoid that gets, like, a bunch of shit gets sucked into? Hi. There's sail a whirlpool. Us, sail us there. That's certain death. That's death, you, you land lover. You must be mad. You moon calf. Okay, look. I need to get this talking flame belching llama back to his husband and safety in our town of friendship. For, For the record, we are not from friendship. No, but I am. We're what you would call vagabonds. Yeah, we yes, went to go they see, are. We went to go see Amelia Earhart, but she wasn't accepting. We're going to sell her this bag of weed. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> we were selling Amelia Earhart a bag of weed, apparently. That way we can buy <laughs> cryptocurrency with it. Okay, I'm done with this analogy. I don't like it. I just <laughs> 10 points from red. You see, right okay. now there's a dip. Which meaning it's cheaper. And while the currency is being held up by organized crime no. trying to launder their money, it will recover. Uh, people watching, don't do this. <laughs> don't, don't. No, no. Invest, invest in weed and shrooms. Okay, don't do that either. <laughs> no, those are the pharmaceuticals of If you can't afford to lose your money. Well, yes, yes. Don't, don't invest in anything you can't afford to lose, but those are the stocks of the future. This is not financial advice. Corporal Tails <laughs> cannot <laughs> confirm or deny any investment advice and are not 
held accountable for the things said on our channel. Unlike medical advice. <laughs> what? Show us your weird skin conditions. We'll, 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 we'll diagnose. <laughs> we will, uh, Dr. Bonesaw, oh, it's monkeypox. We'll you're going to die. Dr. Bonesaw will show up and give you free medical advice on stream. Oh uh, god. So Okay. Um I'm Check. trying to Rosie is trying to figure out how to get us off this pirate ship back. But have to go, we gotta we have to we have to mutiny, steal the ship, and drive the ship into a whirlpool. It's the only answer. Or no. or we make Rachel turn into a boat again. I'm a pirate. Listen, I can make Rachel afraid of pirates. <laughs> Or we use, um, like, social stats to talk the pirates into doing what we want. Okay. <laughs> That's also a good idea. Uh, I've got a lot of points in my autumn mantle. Um, I also don't know what the autumn court does. Uh, Sir, my favorite court. Oh, they horny hey. on main? Is that their thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's, uh, that spring, isn't it? Here. Fear is I fall. thought that was winter. No, there's sadness. Oh shit! I got a winter gristle grinder. Am I like the edgiest, saddest? Yes, girl? you're supposed you to are. be a super sad, like, yeah, emo girl. Oh, uh, wait, I'm an autumn court... darkling. Well, no, no. If you're if you're autumn, you're the court of fear. I am the court of sorrow. No, I meant like a while back. Ambrose posted that like oh. quiz for like what are you, and like half of us got gristle grinder. I was a winter gristle grinder, and I think Dixie was a uh, autumn gristle grinder. Okay, so Steve, continue with your plan. Yes, <laughs> um, I would like to. I'm looking at the wrong goddamn character. Um, I would like to. What does overpowering dread do? Oh, Let's... you're gonna scare the shit out of them, basically. Hold up. Hold up. Overpowering dread. Da, 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 da. While staring at the target, destroying something to intimidate them, a successful target gains the frightened condition. Uh, it's not really what I'm looking to do. Um, what else? What else? What else? <gasps> okay, I am going to frighten them. Okay, I'm going to frighten them. I'm going to do overpowering dread and... Can I do two powers at once because we're, you know, we're late into the night? Is that cool? We all good with that? I'm good if with the it. The rest of the crew is good with it. I'll allow it. All right. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see if I need to do it. Okay. So uh, I'm going to do overpowering dread. Um. Which means I need to do presence plus intimidation plus a lot of other stuff. How does this work? Oh gosh, that's too many things at once. Okay. Presence. You did, I believe in you. Okay. They're going to roll composure plus weird. And I'm rolling presence, intimidation, and weird. Presence, intimidation. Ben, what's Fergus's? I didn't actually stat them out because. They were going against mummies. Mm, but the Promethean okay. should be pretty strong. So I think I'm just going to do Fergus. How would you imagine his composure is? Oh, well, he's a pirate captain that murdered a commodore of a fleet of uh, British vessels. Uh, so four or five? Yeah, he's really he's pretty tough guy. They, they utterly bitch slapped him into the ground because uh, they're mummies again. Um, so really... I don't really stale a lot of things against mummies because it doesn't matter. What would his weird be, do you think? I don't know, like four or five, maybe? Okay. He's like the leader, of a, free, a, he's the leader of a freehold. Three successes. Oh, yep. Leander, carry on. What do you... What does this look like? What does this sound like? Okay. And how, how does it affect Fergus? Um. We need to 
to get to that whirlpool immediately. You don't have a choice. I'm sorry for what's come upon your ship, but right now you only have one option to take us there. And I'm going to uh, use my claws to like cut through one of the the lines that um, is you know connecting uh, as part of the uh, the sails, and just be like, because if that creature stays here, it is going to draw something that you do not want. Something deep. Something from the deep. Something that is vast. Something. And then in my eyes, I'm going to use a uh, chrysalis to go and have reptile eyes and start to have scales coming across my face. Scales and tentacles and claws and teeth. It is either the whirlpool or the Kraken. All of a sudden, this pirate captain is trembling. You can hear the coins in his pockets jingling. Uh, and, and, and the sweat starts to collect on the upper lip and he pales a little bit. This, this beast, it is indeed such an enticing thing for the Kraken. Help us. Get it back where it's supposed to be, and the Kraken will not come for it. I, I'll do it. Crew! And he gives the directions for the crew to head towards the whirlpool. In exchange, I shall tell you of your future. With my portents and visions uh, power. <laughs> He's just expecting Red to pull out tarot cards. No, I'm just going to put my hand on his forehead and activate this thing. Oh, God. <laughs> Go for it. Um, Seven, eight dice. Okay. Is he going to resist or no? No, he he uh, would probably appreciate the fortune telling. Okay, that's two successes. And, and I whisper in his ear. The creatures you're stealing from come calling for their artifacts. The walls of your freehold will fall, and ye will be taken by a horde of huntsmen. Crack. And all your crew. Uh, I'll be in my cabin. And he turns around and runs tail into his cabin. So, uh, you reach the whirlpool. This captain has not left his cabin this whole time and refuses to see you off. He says to send his regards via his first mate. And Ethan is still sitting on Leander's shoulder. Herbert is still belching fire and has eliminated three extra sails, four bundles of rope, and at least one more cannon has been set off. I think this entire time Alice has been trying to throw Tums into uh, Herbert's mouth, and it just hasn't worked. Like, the Tums haven't been getting in there because of the fire. It's true, they get burned up before they reach in his mouth. Um, did Leander want to try strong arming these tums down Herbert's throat? Uh, no. I think actually let's keep the flame throwing llama. Nothing sure, that won't be the quote of the night. We don't live in that <laughs> town. That's the quote of the night. <laughs> also, <laughs> invest in keep... Bitcoin. I say to Promethean first, mate. Invest in Bitcoin. The Promethean turns their head at you, like, tilts their head at you. That'll it's be a big thing in 2012. Coin. Uh, Ben? Yes? Permission for PvP? 
<laughs> no. Okay, I will not throw your character overboard. <laughs> I really want to though. It's clear on it's clear on Ash's face. <laughs> Okay, so we're at this whirlpool. The lava's still breathing fire. We're going in. <laughs> I'm taking Herbert. this llama home. <laughs> Herbert, you ready? What the fuck? No, I'm not fucking ready. I don't want to go in the fucking vortex. I don't want to fucking go in the water where I'm going to fucking drown in the fucking water where I'm going to die. Look, you ungrateful llama! And she's we like, have... got the scruff. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, look, look, I'm getting you home. And you're going to be happy with your sweet husband. And I'm starting to wonder if you don't deserve him. Come the fuck home. So you scared him. He was about to belch by accident, but he keeps his mouth shut and smoke starts pouring out of his nostrils and ears. And he just nods and dives in like a graceful swimmer into the vortex. Damn straight! This, this this llama does a flip and swan dives into the vortex. I follow. Thank you all for your help! And then Alice goes through. <laughs> May I recommend moving to New Jersey? And then I'll dive in. I'm staying on the ship. I was very serious about becoming a pirate. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. Oh, no. <laughs> you, you realize this ship meets a very terrible fate, right? I'll go down with the ship. Oh, no, 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 no. You go back <laughs> to Arcadia. Yeah. Oof. I made my choices. I'll stand by them. <laughs> so, Gosh, if that... you guys want to learn the fate of Fergus and his crew, watch... Big Dad Industries, <laughs> Mummy Game. Kayla's in it. Sorry, Kay is Sullied. In it. This ship means death. Oh, death would be a fucking relief compared to uh, death would be what, to what happens. happens. Yeah, oh. it's bad. So, you are gnocified through this vortex. Um, and... Don't judge me. <laughs> and miraculously. Well, you weren't, it didn't happen to you. It's okay, fair. <laughs> what is it, Steven? Oh, uh, so you are gnocified and you land in Amelia Earhart's treehouse. <laughs> it is a soft landing because the vortex opens up out of nowhere and as soon as you fall through it's gone again good wording on that one a soft landing for Amelia Earhart <laughs> <laughs> she looks up from what she's doing oh I wasn't expecting any visitors Amelia. What year is it? Who's president? Alice. It's 2022. And Biden is president. Fuck, we have to go back. <laughs> See, I stayed. It can't get worse. Uh, any, anyway, um, I believe this gentleman wanted to sell you weed. Would you like um, to buy marijuana? <laughs> it comes straight from the Caribbean. I have my own field out there. I don't need to buy any. Yes, but this is pirate marijuana. <laughs> Straight from the golden age of sea, right to your heart. We were just on a pirate ship, if that does anything. We're gonna, I'm gonna get Herbert home. We call it the strain pirate treasure. It's dank. How about instead of buying it, trade a bag? How about we just sure. roll a fatty over here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what got me in trouble with my last flight. <laughs> hey, well, tell Herbert. me about it. Herbert, before you go, spark this up for us. 
But like he spits a little flame. <laughs> I think it's a perfect place to end it. And then yeah. it smoke out with Amelia Earhart <laughs> and a talking llama. <laughs> so um, after Herbert enjoys a session with you, he heads home to his anniversary dinner of May. <laughs> he shows up no, fucking no. stoned. <laughs> Reeking of rum. <laughs> I, uh, Alice is a very nice person. She probably goes and explains to Herbert's partner that uh, this is a wholly honest thing. And uh, goodbye now. <laughs> Also, now Ethan lives in the town of friendship because the vortex is not flushing anyone back to the cowboy times. I mean, as long as he keeps whispering like sweet nothings into Alex's ear, that's <laughs> totally fine. Does he have a social I, security <laughs> card? I mean, that's not part it. of her job. She will get him those things. <laughs> does he get? Does he? Does he hang out with us and Amelia Earhart? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, God. And, uh, you successfully brought Herbert home. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, audience, um, thank you for joining us in this lovely delightful session of delirious tiredness um, and silly shenanigans. Normally Changeling is not so silly. It's normally traumatic, but I felt like we all needed it tonight. Yes, Sometimes Steven. you just have to laugh instead of cry. This is true. I would, I just would say to everyone who was watching three, at least I'm not, not sure about Ben and Rosie, but at least three out of the five of us had long drives today and very long weekends and showed up to do this and it was awesome and thank you and Anita, yeah, thank you for the running. Light yes, thank you for running this it. This was awesome. Oh. That was so good. So yeah, uh, Rosie will have to remember to let our crew in on <laughs> the changes to the town I'm of just going to tell them to watch this. Oh, I like this plan. That's a good plan. Make it required uh, reading. I mean, they have like a month, right? Um, yeah, they. Yeah. Listen, Red is like a quantum citizen now. They're there when Red is remembered. Oh goodness. And then Red and Leander only show up like when people are smoking. <laughs> Pirate. <laughs> Pirate. <laughs> This pirate's booty. Uh, Would you like some doubloons? That's what they call a dime bag on the deep, on the deep blue sea. Fired. Oh my god. Uh, so, everyone, please tell people where they can find you if after this they want to. Oh no, I have to go first. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben, Big Dad, Chief Yeoman of Big Dad Industries. It's a real title. Um, you can next find me on Friday running uh, Mage the Ascension Technocracy Count 10. A, it's a Call of Cthulhu modern scenario that I've converted to run with Mage the Ascension. It's fucking weird. Tyler is in it. My wife is in it. Uh, Clan Tr uh, House Tremere is in it. You know, from Twitter, House Tremere, uh, and the Technocracy account, because I asked them if they wanted to play a game. Uh, they're a great bunch. They're really a delight to run for and hopefully to watch. So check them out. Hello, my name is Rachel. I am Stolen Fires pretty much everywhere on the internet. Uh, you will see me. When will you see me? You will see me tomorrow. I will be here for Delta Green. Uh, that's a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to the next chapter of the Oh My God, What the Fuck? 
Uh, and then I will be uh, on Tuesday, yes, for Dark Sun. And then, uh, yeah, I also run one of our Patreon games. You should come check it out. If you are a Patreon subscriber at $20 or higher, you get access to Cold Cthulhu Horror on the Orient Express. We are just about to start the next chapter, which I have been mistakenly calling Dancers in an Evening Fog. No, that is the chapter you just completed. The chapter we will record next is called the Blood Red Fez. It should be good times. Uh, Steve is there. Ambrose is there. Ben is there. Uh, Kay, who had a kind of sort of cameo, was, is also there. Uh, anyway, it's really worthwhile. You should come check it out. Hello. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. Yeah. No, go on. Uh, I'm done. Okay, sorry. Uh, and I am Rosie, regular size mom. You can find me on Twitter at mom underscore size or on Twitter as odd duck dice. Also on Instagram and TikTok. And in the next couple of months on Etsy. Uh, may the odds be in your favor. Make pretty dice. Check it out. Uh, and you can find me next here on Vorpal Tales uh, on Thursday playing the final episode of uh, Dave Twindad's Three Shot, where I am a blue dragonborn paladin. And then you can find me over on Big Dad Industries on Friday playing the technocracy game. And then you can find me back here on Saturday playing the third episode of Blue Moon, fourth episode of Blue Moon. Yes fourth episode of Blue Moon, run by Birdie. And then you can find me again on Sunday. I think playing Mage. I'm going to be very busy for like four days. Uh, but it's awesome. Check it out. Hope you love it. Uh, how did I leave? Oh, uh, again, Alice is originally from the Patreon game that Ambrose runs this is a very different tone uh even though i did real life cry in this game from laughing uh my, my character in the patreon game uh didn't finish shattering but it was close uh so check it out uh join patreon and watch things ambrose is fantastic another quick plug uh my good friend uh tyler from my all uh after the sunset game and the folks at martley games who raided us tonight have recently released a supplement for vampire fifth edition called uh bloody awful business a supplement expanding on the circulatory system the blood delivery corporation in vampire fifth edition it's cool it's fucked up there are content warnings all over the place check it out it's a reasonable price on storyteller vault That sounds dope. Um, okay, uh, hello everybody. My name is Steve. You can uh, find me all over the internet at Voodoo Arcade. Uh, my pronouns are he, him. Um, and the next time you'll see me will be on Wednesday for the finale of what was supposed to be a two shot, which now become a three session GI Joe story. So tune in for the finale of GI Joe Pork Chop Sandwiches, uh, where we <laughs> are just being silly, uh, playing the Renegade um, publishing uh, G.I. Joe story. Uh, you'll also find me back here on Friday. Uh, if you like your game a little bit less uh, serious, tongue-in-cheek, campy horror, literally campy, uh, we are playing They Came From Camp Murder Lake. Um, so check out either Big Dad Show um, for a little bit more of a serious kind of mage. Uh, called Cthulhu Game, and if uh, funny, humorous uh, slasher is more your speed, check us out. But yeah, um, then I'm back here on Sunday where I will be playing a much more serious, uh, cold blooded character uh, next Sunday. Uh, well, I will be uh, playing uh, Kara, uh, a, a spider person, or a person spider, actually, would be a better description a person yeah i am so pumped for more of that character rosie loves them uh iris finds them very disconcerting and hello roll for damage you missed some utter ridiculousness. chaos 
<laughs> there be pirates in this depth. Pirates, cowboys. Floods of Fucking dice. Birds. It was all Floods organic of dice. and none of it was forced. So, uh, yes, thank you all for, for playing. You can find me all over the internet as Am Changeling, because it's me, Am Changeling, Ambrose. Uh, you can find me on Etsy at Thornkind, and I am curious what broke Steve. Oh, I just, I want to, we don't say it enough. Uh, our, our chat's incredible. You guys are all amazing. Yeah. I, I appreciate you. Um, just, yeah, when, when, when me, Tyler, and Sean started Purple Tales, um, we didn't know how this would go, and all of y'all are amazing. And I bring that up because that is hilarious. Just so much flooded there. Uh, yes, Dwayne did die last session, and yes, they just kept doing things in that elevator shaft that would have just kept killing him over and over and over again. What? <laughs> By the rules, can Joes die? No. <laughs> well, yes. Yes, they can, but only if it's like an agreed upon part of the tone of the game you want to play. And we had kind of established you're probably not going to die, you know, unless very specific situation and slipping and falling down an elevator shaft is not a Joe's death. And nor is electrified, no, thermite-infused cabling falling and whipping through you, or grenades being thrown down the elevator shaft, or God only knows what else happened to you. Like, you know that clip from The what? Simpsons, stop, oh. stop, he's already dead? <laughs> but they didn't stop. Anyway, um... Oh. Oh. Lupine, yeah, Dwayne died three or four times. They kept blowing up this corpse. But no, Dwayne, wet wire, wet wire is not dead. Wet wire cannot die. Wet wire will be reanimated back into the very first scene uh, because the animator working on this we, episode. We have the get technology. The death. We can rebuild him. <laughs> Let me die. <laughs> um. <laughs> Anyway, I love you all in chat. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us for this incredibly ridiculous show. I'm going to give it back to over to Ambrose because it's his show to close out. Oh, boy. I couldn't have said it better, honestly. That's too good. Um, oof. So you can find Vorpal Tales on YouTube. You can find us on Pinterest. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Twitter. And you can find us here on Twitch. Please uh, check out our website, VorpalTales.com, for up-to-date calendars as much as possible. Our calendar guy is under the weather. Send him your love. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again. You can find me playing tomorrow in Delta Green as a much more different -er person. <laughs> and uh, yes, please, if you like Changeling and the weirdness that is the town of friendship, Please sign up for the Patreon. It is, however, trigger warning, much more gory, much more traumatic. So be prepared for that. Though we now have a interesting mystery to solve about the dead zone. Yeah, uh, and uh, last session I did in all seriousness use, I did in all seriousness use the term icing on the trauma cupcake. Just to, yeah story thank you all again i hope you have had a wonderful evening i certainly have and i hope that your monday isn't absolutely terrible we'll see you next time <laughs>